This is a general message for Virgo. Mercury is coming into your sign. It's very important that you felicitate that energy. If you're divine masculine, you send them out. If you're divine feminine, you should be receiving them. It looks like temperance is cooking up some divine energy and harmony for you to manifest some miracles that you've been waiting on. Uh, there's a new passionate beginning trying to come through here, but you are too worried about yourself. And it's causing conflict and you not facing the truth about what's going on in your life. So you might want to think about that before the new moon comes so that this manifestation of your miracles and your harmony and happiness can come through. You are just gliding on this cosmic wave and you need to come through with this new moon with a soft touch because you're not balancing your masculine and your feminine. You are stuck in, in masculine energy right now. So if you want to break through this, you need to come through with a soft touch. Some truth was delivered to you about a fire sign that you were involved with that caused a lot of conflict and it blocked this, this offer of love that you were trying to give to this fire sign and you need to put it to rest, to death. You need to transform yourself out of this. You have too much in this conflict negative energy going on and judgment is being served on this so it's time to move forward with this new moon
you are blocking the truth about this relationship of what happened. Ah, this is your enlightenment. This is the truth being told to you. Yes, you did offer your feelings, but you weren't totally being yourself. You tried planting seeds with this person, but it all got put to rest. Your higher self stepped in about this, about what love truly is. And everybody's getting another chance of love. Oh, oh, you let, you let someone else in, in this. Another offer came in. That looked more stable to you. And then it turned everything around and put you back by yourself. So you tried not worrying about this. So you went back to being single. Oh, there it is again. And then this fire sign kept coming back in, but there was some devil energy going on with this fire sign that you were dealing with. So they tried reversing everything to work back with you again. And now you're worried about this. You weren't sneaking around, but you did let somebody else come in your energy. And whoever was doing the devil energy, they put blocks on you trying to focus on yourself again. And that's what happened. That's what all this confusion is about. So there's movement towards peace being restored with yourself. Oh, this is flipped over here too. This is the truth. Twice this came out now. So now they're trying to sneak back into your energy, this fire sign. I'm not reading their energy during your energy. You'd have to be a cross watcher and go watch. You're too worried about their energy instead of your own energy because they put a block on how you should feel about yourself. They put a block on that so that you would only think about them. So you need to stop letting this control you. I told you to run, but you didn't. Virgo, please. Oh, they tried working magic that you were, that they were your soulmate. And now you're stuck. About what your wish fulfillment is. You are struggling over this. This is the palace of air delivering this truth to you about your feelings.
Oh, they, they created conflict so that they could have victory over, over this. There is an offer trying to come in, a new offer. That's what's going on behind the scenes. So this, this fire sign put a block on you because they can't see the light, of course, because they work with the devil, they work in the shadows. See, they put they put a, a block they put a block so that this new celebration can't come in there's another there's an earth sign trying to come in they try putting a spell that you were their soulmate but they didn't have all the pieces to do the spell. That's why they work with the devil, because they don't know everything. But judgment has been served on this. Because God has the cup now. So you, you need to get away from this person. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You need to talk to your higher self. He has the keys to everything. You know that you're refusing to move forward with him, with your higher self. Closing oracles, please. Yes, your abundance is trying to come in. Closing oracles for Virgo. Closing oracles for There's going to be a series of unsynchronized events. You need to participate in them. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Oh, look, there he is. And you're definitely not focusing, so. Let's see here. Your abundance, wealth means abundance. Everything that makes you happy and that's supposed to be in your life. That's what abundance is. The Holy Grail is trying to come in for you. That is the Ace of Cups. So going back to yourself, don't do it because of the pride thing, like what you were dealing with before the awakening you need to do it because you need to take leadership and take action in your own life so you need to work on your thoughts and your words and your intellectual analysts this is the truth being told to you three times the truth has came out your independence is so focused on you being alone but you need to work on your healthy boundaries because you have somebody in your energy that you can't get out that put blocks on you. And it's time for this transformation to occur so that your psychic gifts can come in and you're not focusing on this in the right way. You know who you need to contact. You're stuck at a five. You're stuck in the middle there. 
so that your sacred knowledge and your wisdom, so that you can heal this. This is what they put on you. Oh, it's giving me chills just thinking about it. Hopefully this is all sorted by your new moon. You need to let them go. Stop worrying about it. Worry about yourself so that you can move from a five to your ten. Okay? As soon as you close that door on them, your transformation can occur.